Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to update an ordinary pair of jeans with this cute embroidered spider web. You're going to need some embroidery floss. I bought a set of different colours from eBay so I can use it for other projects. For this one I'm choosing a pale silver grey coloured thread. You're also going to need a needle with a hole big enough for the thread to go through. I'm just drawing out the web with a leftover bit of soap. I prefer to use soap because it's um, easy to rub out with a damp cloth if you make a mistake. And it's also a great way to use up waste. I'm just keeping it simple, just lines going down and then lines going across. I'm not too happy with the last two lines so I'm just going to rub them out and then draw them on again. We're going to stitch the straight lines first and then we'll add the curved lines. So take your thread and measure more than twice the length of each line. This will give you enough thread to work with. I accidentally cut mine a little short here but make sure you keep yours a bit longer. Start by Threading your needle in through the underside of the pocket at the top. As you can see the needle is coming out here. Keep a hold of the end of the thread. So you're just going to thread the needle through now and go under the pocket again. And then once the needle is underneath, you're going to stick it out of the pocket again. And keep each stitch about half a centimetre long. I find it easier to do a few stitches before pulling the needle out and it makes it a lot faster too. So I'll show you again how I did it. Needle goes in and then comes out and then goes in again and then comes out again. Make sure you put your hand in the pocket to check you're not accidentally sewing the pocket shut and it's only going through the layer of the pocket and not the back of the jeans. So I'll show again. The needle threads through the pocket, goes underneath and then comes out through the top again. And then just pull the thread Make sure you check that the end of the thread is still there and just sew to the end of the line. Once you've got to the end, you're going to sew back up the line, but this time you're going to fill in the gaps by going under and over with the needle on the opposite sides. This part is a little more fiddly, so feel free to move the pocket around. So 
so I'm threading the needle out and then I'm going to cover this gap and then thread the needle down through again. This will fill all the gaps in the stitch and make a nice straight line. Keep a hold of your thread but it's fine if it comes loose from your needle, you can just thread it back in. Needle goes in, needle comes out. And just keep going till you get back to the top of the line. Once you get to the top, you're going to tie both ends into a knot. I do a few knots just to make sure it's secure. So the reason I'm doing each line separately is because it's easy to work with shorter pieces of thread so you don't get them tangled up. And if you make a mistake, you don't have to unravel everything that you've done. Repeat the same steps for the rest of the straight lines. So I've done four of them here. Now I'm going to do the one going down the edge. For this one, keep the thread longer because we're going to join the ends up to create that nice little corner. The inside of your pocket might have an extra flap of fabric, like mine does, so I'm just sewing through both layers which will help to keep it nice and flat. Just take your time and from time to time check the inside of the pocket to make sure the needle is only going through the fabric on the pocket. Feel free to move the jeans around if that helps. Once you've got to the end of the line, you're going to sew back up in the same way by filling in the gaps. I always find it easy to do a few stitches together before I pull the needle out. 
but doing one at a time is also fine. Once you've got to the top, you're going to join the corner by sewing across in the same way. So needle goes in, then it comes out at the next stitch. Then it goes in again at the next stitch and then comes out at the following stitch and then you go backwards and join up the gaps Then tie the ends together again. Now you've got your nice little corner and you're ready to sew the lines going across. So again, your needle will come out from under the pocket and then we'll go back in again and then come out again, about half a centimetre in each stitch, just like you did the straight lines. But this time you're going to follow the curved lines the way you drew them. Once you've got to the end, you're going to sew back, filling in the gaps. And then this will join all the lines of the spider web together. Just showing you again quickly, but feel free to pause the video if you need to. I hope I've explained it well. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you. It's a good project for beginners using this type of straight stitch. Here are both pockets done. I think it looks really nice. I also thought it would be fun to do a little spider hanging off a web on the front of the jeans.
if you decide to do this, make sure you pull the pocket out of the way um, on the inside because you don't want to lose your pocket. And then the web, you're going to do it in exactly the same way as you did the lines of the spider web at the back. For the body of the spider, you're going to do the stitches in the same way, but you're going to do them in a circular motion. You're going to stitch around the outside and go in towards the middle, filling in the space. You don't have to be too precise. Random stitches will create a nice unique pattern on the abdomen. Then just sew the head in the same way and then add the legs. And here it is. I think it looks really cute.